Greetings, dear ones. I'm Cryon of Magnetic Service. I want you to feel the breeze for a moment. Is there an intelligent system that has created this moment for you? Is this a random occurrence? And you and I would be together like this. Would you say more than just a loving overview that there would be a system that was benevolent and intelligent that would have put us together like this? Have you met those around you? The answer is yes, most of you have. Is it an accident? That you are with those who are here with you. If it's not an accident, what is it? (laughs) How can you explain a system that is not explainable in a logic that you live by? More than intelligent, loving, intuitive to bring you here to feel the breeze. You have honored this place with many others who come for this reason. And for those listening, the Grand Canyon of the Pacific is where you sit on the very rim, looking at the splendor that the ancients saw and felt the same as you. Canyon is old, older than those who would live here. It was always here for them, just like it is always here for you. Was there a system that created the canyon? Or was it random? (laughs) And now we get into esoteric, interesting discussions. Lemuria is where you sit. And many of you through these days are starting to realize the significance, perhaps, of the ancients, the ancestors, and the originals who were here. Many of you recognize the energy of the island of the places, and you simply arrive, and it takes your breath away, does it not? to just sit and remember how active is your Akash. If you can gaze on these things and feel something inside that whispers, you've been here, remember. That is your Akash working its magic. Lemuria had many stages. When the mountain was out of the water. This was covered in ice and snow. It didn't look this way. And through the many years it took for it slowly to subside, indeed it looked this way and the ancients were here and many, many generations experienced this in many kinds of elevation, if you understand the history. Which one you were in doesn't matter. Do you respond to the energy here? And is it the energy of the land here, or what else might have happened here? Is it possible you might have had a teacher from the stars? How do you think that would affect your Akash today? It would ring in remembrance, would it not? Now these are what I would call intuitive, intelligent questions. In the word Lemuria, we rest upon the letter I. And today that letter is going to stand first for intuitive thought. What is your intuitive thought about your participation, if any, here? What brings you here? 
what is your intuitive information, intelligent thought, three eyes, about those with you? Do you recognize any of them as Akashic participants in your history? That's a big one, isn't it? Now we get into intelligent questions. The I. Intuition. Intelligence. Information. We are now passing into a more, I would say, advanced level of thought about who you are, what the island is, what happened here, and your participation in it. Do you believe there is a God inside that the Creator is in that which is your corporeal self? If you do, you are among all of the masters of the planet who said the same thing. If you do, you are among so many of the organized spiritual systems of the planet who say the same thing. If you do, you're picking up intuitive human spiritual thought. Before it got organized, it's time for intelligence when it comes to spiritual thinking. It's time to look at traditions as part of the intelligence instead of going into a survival mode of spiritualness and simply going through the motions of what someone else said to do to get to God. It's time for intelligent, spiritual, common sense as you sit here. Common sense that would say, if indeed, logically, that God is inside, where is the healing? 